Hello everyone, welcome to Than Investments. Uh, this video is again an analysis video for tomorrow, 3rd of March, weekly expiry. So currently, Nifty is in a tight range of 16,675 and uh, 16,510. So this is like, you know, almost like 150, 170 points tight range and intraday traders are compiled to trade within, within this zone. Now, if we see a sustain, sustainable move above 16.675 with a 15 minutes time frame, a candle sustaining above this level, then we might possibly see uh, 50 to 85 points of you know upside move on Nifty, and we might be able to test Monday high that was 16.8, 10, 8, 15 zone. Even this gap should be covered by that. Now, if we see any gap up, then we will wait for it to retest this level, sustain about 16,675 for 15 minutes at least, and then we will look out for an upside trade or a long trade. Otherwise, if we see any gap down below 16,510, 490, again, Nifty is bound to come and test the levels of 16,450 below that. 350 370 zone that 20 points no trading zone and then again this gap which is yet to be filled that is at 16 280 so if we see any flat opening tomorrow being a weekly expiry if we see tomorrow any flat opening nearby 16 uh, 640 or 16 600 then intraday traders option buyers specifically have to wait for either side breakout of this tight range unless and until there would be a premium dk there would be an option writer day possible but if we see any breakdown below 495 490 levels then i will personally go short on nifty and if i see any sustainable move above 675 then i will go long for this gap covering trade this is one hour analysis on nifty and this is purely and for educational purpose this is not any financial advice this is just to enhance your own analysis i trade on my trading setup moving on nifty bank uh, today we saw a quick recovery on nifty bank at, towards the day end so now what i can see personally I would only wait and watch if Nifty Bank is moving above 36,625. If Nifty Bank is moving above or opening above 30, sorry, 35,625. 35,625 is the level. I will look for a 15 minute candle to sustain above this zone, 35,625. Then I will look for an intraday target of 35,870, 888,90. And above this, Gap covering is possible up to 36,200. Only if tomorrow at opening or any 15 minutes time candle sustain about 35,625. And if by chance we see a gap down again, then I will wait and let it close below 35,300 or so. If it giving me a close at 35,300 and sustaining below. Then I will look for a short trade on Bank Nifty with an immediate target of 35,100 or can say 3550. Below that, even 34,900, 34,750 will act as a strong support. So, as soon as we reach 35,100 odd levels, I will try to squeeze my trailing stop loss to gain maximum out of my short trade. I will go long only about 35,675. Moving on, stocks, Escort has shown a tremendous recovery again, closing near the day high. Now, this is the range. Above 1885, I will see a quick intraday target of 1900, 1920, 1930. I would maintain a stop loss of 1955. It, if 1885 is sustained and I get a close in 15 minutes time frame. Vice versa, if I see any close below 1855 in 15 minutes time frame, I will maintain a stop loss of 1882, 1885 as per my risk appetite. 
and I would target for 1833, 1817 and 1800 odd levels. So this is the range. I will wait patiently to for escort to give me a break out above 1885 or break down below 1855. Moving on, MCX, I see a flag pattern in one hour time frame. Now any breakout above 1407, this particular level 1407 or can say 1410, I would quickly enter a long trade and my target would be 1445, 1460 and 1470. MCX is showing some strong momentum because commodity are shooting up all over all over the world like we, you can check crude aluminium steel stocks are moving higher natural gas any commodity is I mean every commodity is moving higher so I will wait for this breakout of 1410 and if I get a sustain up above this level in 15 minutes time frame I will enter a quick long trade and for initial target of 1445, 60 and 72, 75 or so. This is MCX and if I enter a long trade, I would try to maintain a stop loss of 20, 25 points as per my risk appetite. Asian paint, again, the structure has become weak due to rising in crude price. Now, it might test 30, 64, but I won't enter a long trade unless and until it is giving me a close about 31, 10 or level, then I would see some 60 to 100 points move on Asian paint but currently I'm looking for a weak structure that would be confirmed if Asian paint start trailing uh, sorry trading below 29.90 in any 15 minutes time frame I would maintain 30 to 40 points stop loss and I would target for 29.50 29.20 initial target and below 29.25 20 I would look for the bottom line target of 2860 for intraday purpose again this video is for analysis purpose only education purpose only you can have your own research and if you are new here please do subscribe to the channel thank you